guys, it's Marella, and today I'm showing you how to do this sleek updo. Is that even what you call it? To me, because the hair is pulled back in a sleek way, it is like a sleek ponytail, but that it has a lot of volume, and I think that these pieces just make it so cute. It's like my favorite hairstyle. I wore it to the Mac Patrick Star Party, and I felt like a million bucks. So I wanted to share it with you guys, and I'm wearing it to a holiday party tonight. It's not perfect right now. I do have like some flyaways, especially right here at the front, but I'm kind of like not the kind of person who likes that super perfect, no hair out of place look. I think that's really like quinceanera. I think that hair should still look pretty natural and like have movement and just not be like completely perfect. So if that's not for you guys, totally understand. This ponytail also just totally reminds me of like I Dream of Jeannie, but it makes me feel really cute. All right guys, so if you want to see how I did this, let's get started. So the first thing I'm doing is taking my T3 Convertible Collection curling iron. I'm using the 1.25 inch barrel and I'm going to curl my hair and I have like a million tutorials on this. So I'm actually just going to do it like super, super quick. And I'm mainly focusing on the ends because my hair is going to be in a ponytail. So the only part that's really going to show the curl is the ends. And with each piece that I do, I'm going to alternate directions just so that the ponytail doesn't stick all together. You can do it all in the same direction all around your entire head if you want. It looks cute either way, but I prefer the curls to be separated. And my hair is like the slightest bit damp because I just showered and I'm like rushing. So I'm gonna take some hairspray. This is the Bumble and Bumble Strong Finish Firm Hold Hairspray. One of my favorites of all time. And I'm just kind of like spraying as I go. But I definitely don't want to spray the hair before I curl it. That's like a huge no-no because you will just fry your hair on the curling iron. So with the front pieces, I'm making sure to curl them away from my face because that will make the pieces that stick out of the ponytail look really cute. Then I'll move on to this side. This curl iron totally makes my lights flicker. So if you are seeing flickering lights, I'm so sorry. It's just, I don't know. This curl iron is like the most powerful curling iron I've ever had. And I've noticed that that happens a lot. It's happening right now. So now that I'm done, I'm going to like put my head back. I'll show you guys from the side. And pull all of my hair up. So this is making it so that the roots are smooth. And I will just put it in like a fake ponytail. I'm just gonna hold it up like this. And I'm going to grab three hair ties. If you have thick ones like this, then you only need two, but the other ones are like not very thick. So I'm gonna use three. Now I'm going to use my nail to pull down these sections of hair in the front. And I wanna make sure the line is like completely perfect. So I'm gonna pull it down like this. And you can see it's like a perfect part. So I'm going to take the line straight across to this side and do the same thing. I need a little more on this side, yeah. It's like not completely perfect right there. So I'll just pull down a few more. If you need to use like a rat tail comb in order to do this, which is the comb that has like the little pointy end, it makes a perfect line also. So I'll just take enough until my heart is content. And then I'm going to use my hairbrush and brush my entire head along the roots. And this is just going to make sure that my ponytail is like completely smooth and beautiful. So I'm going to pull it so that it's kind of like on top of my head, like about there is high enough. And I'll keep brushing so that it's nice and smooth. And then once I'm like, okay, yeah, this is good. I'm gonna get a hair tie and I'll wrap it around. And if I can show you guys up close, I will. I'm going to make sure that none of the layers while I'm wrapping it around overlap each other. So they're going to stack up. I wrapped that one around three times so it should have three lines here instead of like being all on top of each other. Now I'm going to take another one and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm just gonna make sure, again, none of the layers overlap. So I will have like another three layers of just the hair tie. And then I'll do another one on top of those. So what this does is creates a thick stack so that the ponytail is about now like an inch and a half off of my head. It's not flat to my head. Then I'll take the hairspray and I'm going to like smooth down all of this hair. And to be honest with you guys, this isn't like the easiest hairstyle to do on your own. If you have an extra set of hands, like your mom or your sister or your friend, 
That would be so much easier. So now when I'm going around and smoothing the pieces, I'm gonna take a bobby pin and pin any like stray pieces. Usually it's right behind my ears where they like stick out. So I'm gonna spray them and lay them flat and I will pin it and make sure that they stick. Then once I've gotten all the hair around my head flat, I'm gonna take a piece from the bottom of my ponytail. So I'm just gonna pull out a section like this. And it's gonna be maybe about an inch thick. And I'm going to wrap it around the hair ties. <laughs> this is like not an easy angle to show. So I wrapped it around that. And then I'll wrap it around twice so that the hair tie is completely covered. And then I will tuck the hair down. And I'll take one last bobby pin. And I'm going to pin it like into the hair ties. So you can't see it and you can't see where the hair ends. That's around the hair ties. All right guys, and last step, if you want your ponytail to be like big and have a lot of volume, take a volumizing spray. This is Dry Bar Triple Sec. It's my new favorite. I'm obsessed. So I'm going to just like open up the hair and spray it all within here. There we go. All right guys, so here is the finished product. Totally just makes me feel like I'm so done up. Perfect for holiday parties. <laughs> I'm in love. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. Please subscribe to me if you haven't already. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.